Hats, who are we drawing today? Poppy. Yes, we're going to draw Poppy from the Troll movie. You got your marker? Yeah. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You have something to draw with and some paper in front of you. All right, if we go too fast, what can they do? Pause the video. Yeah, you can always... Pause the video. <laughs> All right, let's start. <laughs> we're going to draw Poppy's nose right in the middle of our paper. And she's got a funny nose, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. It's kind of bumpy. So we're going to draw the first bump right in the middle of our paper. And it's kind of small. Just a little one. A little upside down U. Good. And then we're going to draw two other little upside down U's right next to it. So there's another one on one side. Okay. Yes. And then we're going to draw another one on the other side. Okay. <laughs> Good. Now we're going to draw the bottom of her nose and we're going to draw a U shape underneath. Good, that's for one nostril. And then we're gonna draw the middle of her nose. <laughs> Good, and then, and then we're gonna draw her other nostril. <laughs> it's got a lot of bumps, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so this one's gonna go all the way over here and that's okay, we can practice, right? It's okay that they look different. <laughs> that's a big nose. <laughs> we need to practice, don't we? <laughs> But that's okay because the most important thing is to have food. Yes, to have fun. <laughs> okay, let's draw her eyes next. We're gonna draw two circles right above her nose. Okay, we're gonna and they're pretty big. We're gonna draw a big circle like this for her first eye, and then another circle right next to it for her other eye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and they're right above her nose. Whoa. Yeah, that's a good size. <laughs> I like it. And then one right next to it. Good job. Okay, now inside of her eyes, we're gonna draw another circle, and this is for her pupil. We're gonna draw another circle, and it's at the bottom. See how it's at the bottom of that bigger circle? There we go. And then we're gonna draw another one over here. Good. Now, we're gonna draw a really small circle in the top left. Yes, and another small circle on this one, top left. Good, and then let's color in the middle circle. Okay, we gotta give her eyelashes. So let's give her three eyelashes on each side of her eye. Okay. Okay, now we gotta give her her cheeks. And she has really cute cheeks. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out on the side, touches her nose. Good, and then a curve on the side for her other cheek, touches her nose and it also touches her eye. Good job. Okay, now let's draw her mouth. And she's really happy, isn't she? Mm -hmm. We're gonna draw a big smile, a U shape that goes over underneath each cheek. Touches each cheek. Okay. And goes under her, yes, under her nose, and back up. Good. And then let's give her cheek lines. Little lines on the end of her smile. <laughs> it's starting to look like her, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, she has really pretty flowers in her hair. So let's draw the first one right above this eye, right above her left eye. We're gonna draw a circle. It's almost a full circle, but it doesn't touch at the top. Okay, right here? Yes. Okay. Good. And then we're gonna draw another one right next to it. This is for the petals on the flower. So we're gonna draw her flowers first, and then we'll draw the rubber band that goes around her hair. Okay, now we're gonna draw one more circle that comes around and it completes it. It looks like popcorn. It does look like popcorn, you're so right. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna draw another flower over this eye. Well, it's over her cheek. We're gonna draw another circle that doesn't touch. Like that. Okay. This time we're gonna draw four instead of three. And I'm gonna go ahead and just draw them. And you can do it too. Just go all the way around and draw all the petals for the flower. Okay. Yes, it looks like popcorn. One more. What? Oh, you can draw, yeah, a big one, there you go. <laughs> okay, now let's draw one more right next to this one. And we're gonna draw, this one's gonna be a little smaller. So we're gonna draw, draw that circle. Uh, it looks like an oval, it's kind of squished. Mm -hmm. Cause this one's on the side of her head. And then I'm gonna go around and we're gonna make three more or two more. So it has three petals like the first one. 
and a big one. Good job, we did it. Those are the flowers. Now in each of the little corners, we're gonna put another little petal, a small little leaf in each of the corners. Next, we're gonna draw the rubber band that connects the flowers together and goes around her hair. Kay. Okay, so we're gonna start right here and we'll draw a line that connects to the flower. Good, and then we're gonna pretend it going behind and it's gonna come out and connect to the other flower. Next, we're gonna draw the top of the rubber band. So we're gonna draw the same line, but a little higher. Kay. There we go. And then we're gonna imagine it going through the flower, coming out the side, and connecting to the other one. Perfect. Okay, now let's draw her big ear and then we're gonna connect that rubber band to her ear. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna draw a line that comes up. It's really big. Whoa. <laughs> right here? Yes, that's a good spot. We'll go up and then we're gonna come back around for the rest of her ear. <laughs> she has big ears, I like it. <sighs> now let's draw the inside of her ear and we're gonna draw a line that curves like this, like the outside of her ear. It matches. And then we're gonna draw a backward C shape. There's her ear. Now let's finish the rubber band going into her ear, like this. Little line for the bottom, and then another one for the top of the rubber band. Oh, it's starting to look like her, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna draw the hair that comes down in front of her ear, and we're gonna draw an S line. So we'll start right here and we'll draw a curve that comes down and it comes in between her ears. So we're going to start right here, curve down. Is this her hair? Yeah, it is her hair. And then we're going to curve back the other way. It's a little curl at the end. And then we're going to curl back up. So we'll start right here and we'll curl back up into her rubber band. Yeah. And then right here, we're gonna add one more hair, piece of hair coming down over her eye and then connecting to her hair. Okay, now we're gonna draw the hair on the other side of her face. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down like this, right next to her cheek and right next to her eye. It's like a J, a okay. J shape. Comes down and it curves right at the end. Good, and then we're gonna curve back up and connect to the flower. Okay, what are we missing on this side? Um, her ear. Yes, we're missing her other ear. So we'll draw a C shape, comes out and back in. <laughs> I love Poppy, she's so cute. All right, okay, let's draw the inside. Remember this line that we drew on the inside of her ear? Mm -hmm. Draw that same line over here. And then this time we're gonna draw a C shape instead of a backward C. Next, let's draw her chin and we'll be done with her head. So we'll come right here. We're gonna draw a U shape that comes under and it's gonna come back up and connect to her hair like that. And then it can also come right behind her hair too if you want. So we'll start right there. we will come under and do a big U shape that comes up and ends on her ear. Okay. Oh, you're concentrating. <laughs> you did it, give me five. Okay, what should we draw next? Her hair. We gotta draw her hair next, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the best part. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start right here and it's gonna be crazy. We're gonna come right out of the flower. We're gonna come up like this and then we're gonna curl back around. It's gonna go off the page. It might, yeah. We'll try to keep it on the page though, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so you just start right here and we're gonna go up, do a big curl that goes and curves around. Kind of like a question mark. Yeah. Yes, I'm gonna go in and then curve around. Yes, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we're gonna start right here and we're gonna curve around like this and then we'll curve back like that. But the other way. But the other way, yes, the other way. Mm -hmm. Right here? Yes, and then we're gonna curve up to here and then curve back. Yes, in, up, and then back down. You did it. Okay, now we're gonna draw the top curls and we're gonna connect over to the other side. So let's draw a big 
upside down U shape right here. It looks like a wave. It does look like a wave, like a wa like a water wave, ocean wave. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we're gonna draw another one that comes out. Kind of looks like the top of a pineapple. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna curve back down. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna draw. This time we're gonna wave. We're, we're gonna make the wave go the other way, so like that. <laughs> and we're gonna draw another one, like this, coming back. And then we'll curve back in. <laughs> and then the last one is gonna connect into the curve. Oh yes, we did it. Okay, now we need to add more lines for her hair. So we're gonna start up here and we're gonna draw a big, a big curve that matches the outside. Look at this. We'll come back down and into the flower. Okay. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. Good. And then let's do another one on this side too. So I'm gonna come out, come back around, and into her flower. Yeah, good. And then this one, I'm gonna do one that starts out in this wave, comes down. It totally looks like a pineapple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, good job. And then let's do one more. I'm gonna do one from this side, comes out over here and down. <laughs> and if you want, you can add a couple more. I'm gonna add one or two more. This one's gonna be a small one down here, and maybe I'll add another one in here somewhere. Oh, cool. Now it looks like hair, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's draw her body next, and we're gonna draw her waving too. So we're gonna draw her body off to the side. We're gonna draw one line that comes down, diagonal. She's got a cute dress. And then we're gonna draw another one right here that's gonna curve. So this one curves a little bit at the end. Good, and then we're gonna draw a curve for the bottom of her dress to connect both sides. Good, now we're gonna draw the design on her dress. And this is like a, a raindrop shape that comes down and curves back into her shoulder. A little raindrop shape. Okay. Yes. And then we're gonna draw the other side of her dress coming down and connecting. Now she has a little stitch right here. We're gonna draw uh, two lines, like an equal sign, and then connect each side. Perfect. Let's draw her first arm waving. So draw one line that comes out. Okay. And then we're gonna draw the next line close to, her, to the other one, but then at the end we're gonna flare out. Look how it gets further away at the end. That's so her wrist is thicker. Yeah, good job. Now let's draw her thumb. We'll draw an upside down U shape. That's a big thumb. It is a big thumb. It's a big cute thumb. And then we're gonna draw her first finger. Good, and then we're gonna draw a W, a curved W for her last two fingers. Watch this. There's one finger and then her third finger, her fourth <laughs> finger, it looks like a curved W. Her two fingers, these two fingers are close together. Mm. There we go. You did it. Okay, now we're gonna draw her other arm over here and it's gonna be bent, so it has her elbow and it's gonna be resting on her hip. So we're gonna draw, come out of her shoulder like this and then curve back around and get close to her dress, but don't touch it. Okay. Yep, there's her elbow, and then back in. And then we're gonna draw the inside of her arm, and it's just a sideways V shape. Good, now let's draw her hand. So we're gonna draw a little line right there, and then we're gonna draw her finger coming out and then back into her body. And that's a simple way to draw her bent arm, there's her elbow, and then her hand resting on her hip. Good job, Hats, you did awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's draw her first leg. We're gonna draw it coming out of her dress. We'll draw a line down. 
Yes. Oh, she's got a lot of attitude. I like it. And then we're going to draw the other side of her leg, and we're going to do the same thing we did on her arm. We're going to start close, and then down at the bottom, we're going to flare out so that her ankle is wider or thicker. Good job. And then we're going to come back around, and we're going to draw her foot. It's going to come around like a sideways U shape. Perfect. And then we're going to draw our little toes on the end. We'll draw a backward C shape. And then let's draw two more. One, two. One. There's her toes. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to draw her other leg sticking off to the side. So let's draw one line coming out this way. <laughs> and then we're going to do the same thing. Draw the other side of her leg. And we're going to flare it out. So we're going to start here and then draw a little thicker at the bottom. It gets further away. Good. And then we're going to draw that sideways U shape, comes out and back around. Now we're missing her toes, so let's draw, I'll draw a C shape for the big toe. And then two more little lines to divide the toes. Ah, we did it! Good job, Hads! Give me five! You did awesome! Okay, we need to put our markers off to the side, and what should we do next? Color her. Yes, we're definitely going to color We're going to use our colored pencils, and we're going to fast forward this part, so you guys at home can pause the video when we're all done so that you can match. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Let's do it right, right now! now. Hadley, we did it. We finished coloring her, and that was a lot of coloring, huh? Did mm -hmm. your fingers get sore? Yeah. You can squish them like this, and that'll wake them back up. You did an awesome job, though, and you guys at home can pause the video so that you can match the coloring that we did. We added little rosy cheeks, and then we also used our white colored pencil to put a little shine on her cheek. Mm -hmm. It makes her look really cute. Yeah. And the last thing I did was went back around the outside with a really thick black line, and that makes her pop right off the page. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. I like yours just the way it is. And it really is okay that they look different, right? Yes. Because the most important thing is? To have food. Yes, to have food. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, we should fix your hair sometime, like poppies. Yeah. We could put it up like really high like this. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Hi, my name is Poppy. <laughs>